Here's a quick tutorial about the AG Color Select tool. I just discovered this and it's so useful. I'm putting it in my toolbar. It's part of the Astute Graphics plugins. And I thought of you, Terry, because you use a lot of transparency in your Illustrator artwork here. And transparency creates other colors and they're hard to sample with the native Illustrator eyedropper tool. So for example, you can see how in this artwork, the multiply blending mode in 50% is creating new colors. So if I want to sample this, I'll just grab this tool and then let's get one of my color swatches here. And then when I click here, I sample the full strength color. And if we look in the transparency panel, it's a solid color without the transparency setting. So now I can get all of these colors that are created by the transparency. And of course, even the ones that are not transparent without having to flatten transparency or go through any other settings. So this is super easy and really great. Now there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts. So if what you want to do is save a swatch, hold down the option or alt key as you click and you've saved a swatch of any color you want to here. Just holding the option or alt key. And then if you add the shift key, you also get a global swatch. So option alt, and shift will get you a global swatch with this tool. And here's another shortcut. So what I have here is a multiply blending mode of 50%. And if it's against white, and this is the only color that you have here, you can use this tool and I'll go ahead and select this color chip. And then if I hold the shift key, I can retain the transparency. So now this color right here also has that 50% transparency setting. And in this case, you're not gonna see this uh, in the regular transparency panel. It's gonna look like it's 100%, as we can see right here, but it's actually applied only to that fill. So here's that opacity setting. So if you need to sample with that opacity setting, hold shift. And on an important note, the AG Color Select tool does not replace Illustrator's eyedropper tool because the eyedropper can sample appearances, type, stroke weights, and it can transfer the color swatch to an object. So if you're using Pantone chips or predefined swatches in your document, this tool doesn't apply them. It looks like the same color, but it's not attached to the swatch. So use this tool for what it does best and keep your eyedropper handy too. I'm Laura Coyle. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. I teach Adobe Illustrator here on YouTube and in my online learning community. Find out more at my website, lauracoylecreative.com. And be sure to join my email list. You'll receive a welcome gift and helpful illustrator tips delivered right to your inbox. And thanks for watching.